Alright guys, so this uh, generator has a broken coil wire, so the customer wants us to put a different coil on it. So we have a coil in stock, so we just go ahead and put it on it. So uh, first thing I gotta do is get that case off, which I'm about to do. So I'm unbolting the case. Super easy, I'm just gonna twist it off with my hands. Because it's faster that way. Because you don't have to back direct from the ratchet. Then we're gonna go to the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. Trying to hold it up with one hand and trying to unbolt it with the other one wasn't the easiest thing uh, eventually as you you'll see is I actually start to use my foot to prop it up also they really don't like to put those in like nice places for mechanics to get to or just anybody to get to just the daily maintenance stuff that you have to do like cleaning out that case because it gets filled with dirt as you'll see later on but they should definitely make it easier to get in these cases they're like in pretty hard to reach spots um, it's not bad, but this bolt was actually froze pretty bad, so we had to pull out the torch. I could not get it to turn with all of my strength. I really couldn't get it to turn. So, um, my dad was using the torch, cutting out a plate for the golf cart. Wait for that video. That video is going to be up soon. Um, he was torching it for me because he was already had the torch in his hand and everything. So he heats it up a little bit. And then I'll go over there to break it loose. And it breaks right loose. All it needs you is a little bit of heat. So anybody that has still stuff with rust, a little bit of heat can help you. It can help you a long ways. So now we are going to move the motor back to where it was. Uh, I don't want to touch the motor hand. That's probably pretty hot. So I grabbed the vice grips and I just finished turning it the rest of the way out. And I also used the vice grips to set it down somewhere where it's not going to be touching my feet or stuff. Because I don't have any type of boots on. I have just normal shoes on. So then I have to get a screwdriver, pry this case off. Which, for some reason, these cases don't like me. It was decently hard to get off, but once I got that little clip off, it kind of came off pretty easy. You still see I was having to fight it a little bit. So, we're unbolting the coil. Of course, you have to unbolt this coil to get it off. To change out another one. Um, ended up actually just extending the coil wire uh, to be honest because the other coil was not the right length cable either so we just ended up uh, using your kids and extending that wire a little longer um, probably should have got home video on how to do that but I didn't I'm sorry about that but I am going to be showing you in this video how to set a coil up for the right time Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to get a piece of cardboard, most likely a business card, put it down on top of the magnet on the flywheel, and then stick your coil in and tighten it up, and that's going to look the perfect gap to get your coil perfectly timed. And it works pretty much every single time. I've never had a time where it hasn't worked. Um, I mean, it's great. You can see the little electrical tape over top of the coil wire. Okay, some people might get mad about that. It's just a little repair. And it doesn't really matter that much. You don't have to complain about it. And then you just tighten it down. I don't know if I already said that. So we're going to snug it. And then I realized, oh crap, I forgot to put that plate on. So I had to loosen this side back up to stick that plate on. Silly me. Sometimes I forget to do stuff. And of course I'm covering up... Most of the screen. It's got this little plate. I kind of struggle a tad bit to get this plate on. Not much. It's just the holding it up and then also trying to screw it in. Like you can see, I keep on going in trying to readjust it. But eventually, I got it. In. It didn't take that long. I just in my head, it seemed like it took a lot longer. Okay, maybe it did. No, it definitely took a lot longer. As you can see, I'm struggling right now. Yeah, it's still struggling to try to get it on. Wow. That's sad. Alright, now that we got it on, I accidentally put the case on the first time without pulling out the cardboard. So make sure you pull out the cardboard. I didn't show that part where I didn't pull out the cardboard. But just make sure you do. So we gotta get that side lined up. Uh, I didn't get a good angle of that, but we're getting that side piece that, you know, I had to pop out. Line back up and pop back in. And then we're gonna get the bolt started up here, I believe. 
you gotta make sure you don't pinch your uh, ignition wire or your ignition kill switch wire. Because if you pinch that, especially if you pinch the ignition kill switch wire, it will always be grounded, which means your engine is just not going to run. And then we put the bolt in it, and we get to tighten them up. Um, so the torque spec on these is tight enough, but not too tight where you don't break them. So I like to grab it the one, the quarter inch drive uh, ra ratchet by its head and just tighten it as much as I can. And grabbing it by its head probably means you won't break it. If you can break it by grabbing the ratchet by its head, you got some pretty good strength on you. Um, so we tighten that side up, go over to the other side, having to hold it up with my foot and my hand. <clears throat> and then I go and get to tighten it up with, I just put it on the socket and extension, I tighten it by hand first, and then I pop the ratchet on there. Tighten it straight up. As you can see, I'm grabbing it by the head so I don't break the bolt. Because I have too many experiences breaking bolts. One rusted stuff like this. Um, as you can see, the coil is firing, but it's firing way too often. Which means we have a sheared off pin in our flywheel. Which means the engine is going to not run. It's going to have the exhaust and intake open around the same time. Thank <laughs> you.